Well, my name is Cliff Clarkson. I'm uh, the Senior Operations Manager for the Empirical family of companies. And specifically, I'm the Operations Director for Empirical Machine. And Empirical Machine is uh, it's a machine shop that's in the Empirical family of companies. And we offer a wide array of machining services uh, that ranges from prototype to we do some production work uh, for consumer goods. We do um, tooling and fixturing for laboratory type work. And uh, yeah, I manage all that. Well, our capabilities is, <clears throat> again, we can do anything from small batch prototyping to larger runs of medical parts or consumer goods. Um, anytime a customer demands something that's high precision or, um, or something that can be uh, a, a design that needs to be iterated very quickly, we really specialize in, in that area because we have a lot of expertise on staff that can help us do that. Um, you know, this company started out as a, with a mechanical testing background, so we have a lot of engineering expertise and design expertise here that can help us solve problems very quickly through machining. Uh, so we have a lot of expertise there. So we can handle a lot of different, a wide range of problems uh, through machining. Uh, we're accredited ISO 9001, and we're also accredited ISO 1345. And basically what that means, ISO 9001 is kind of a basic certification that really just says from a quality standpoint, we're going to do what we say we do. And we have documentation and record, record keeping and that kind of stuff. ISO 1345 is really the next level of that. So when we decided uh, two years ago that we really wanted to get into the medical prototyping, we thought ISO 1345 was just a natural step for us because it does give us accreditation to do the high precision, highly documented processes that are required for medical devices. So uh, yeah, we, we can offer that service as well and we were really good at that. Well, my, I have just an incredibly talented team. Uh, I have a couple of really uh, experienced machinists that uh, have worked in prototyping before. So they're really good with producing parts that are highly, uh, they, they, that maintain very small tolerances that are very accurate and precise, and then they can read prints in such a way that they can kind of gain what our customer's intent is with, with the uh, device they're trying to have us manufacture. And they're very good about asking questions. So if we get a part that we have to manufacture, our, our machinists can go through that and figure out, okay, what do they really want to produce here? Because sometimes what you put on a print versus what you actually produce can be something different. And so we're really good at kind of analyzing that at the get-go and doing some design engineering at the, at the start of the job and then going and asking the right questions so the customer really gets what they want to get. And so I have a team of machinists that are really, really good at that, um, that they really care about what we produce for the client. And they come to work every day just really energized to make things and to make things with a high degree of accuracy and precision. And, you know, that's only one level. The whole other level on top of accuracy and precision is partnership. And I think that's where we really compete. You know, there's a lot of people that can produce accurate and precise parts, but when our, our competitive edge is just providing that partnership on top of that. So we can partner with our clients and really give them what they want in a timeline in which they want it. I feel like our clients are very satisfied. They're usually pretty very surprised when we can provide a quote that meets or exceeds a lead time expectation. Uh, you know, and that's, that's really one of the things we, we, we compete on is we, we make quality parts. We wouldn't be here if we didn't make quality parts. But we also can provide those parts in a time frame which most of our competition can't do. And, and part of that is because we've invested a lot in our machinists and we've invested a lot in our equipment. So we have the ability to produce these parts in a lot faster timeline than what, maybe what people are used to.